It's no surprise that in our sport, we rely pretty heavily on mother nature to provide us with the snow that we need each year to properly operate our sleds in the conditions that they were designed for. This Yamaha Nitro XTX comes factory equipped with a 1.75 inch lug track for free riding and boondocking. 1.75 lug tracks work great in flatland powder conditions and are acceptable on early or late season trails that have not frozen solid. But what if your ride area didn't get the snow you expected? What can you do to still get the best performance possible in low snow conditions? Installing an aftermarket track is always an option to rectify a situation like I've outlined, and in most cases will produce superior performance, especially on a sled like this Yamaha Nitro XTX. Boondocking requires decent snow conditions. If Mother Nature skipped over your region and your conditions are limited, a 1.75 lug track can make your sled feel pretty squirrely on hard packed and icy trails. And the perfect answer to that dilemma is a pre studded track from Camoplast. In particular, the Ice Attack XT is the track that I'd pick for this 144 inch sled. It's got a 1.22 inch lug profile and a generous amount of pre molded studs. Ooh, that's sharp. Featuring up to six studs per row of lugs, the Ice Attack XT delivers incredible bite on the trails, no matter the surface conditions. The 1.22 lug profile is still tall enough that if you do encounter powder, you can be sure you'll still be able to have some fun, while not being too tall for standard trail riding. Installation of a new track is like comparing guava to dragon fruit when it comes to your specific sled. The only things that'll stay true is that you need to split the chain case, drop the suspension, and remove the drive axle. A Yamaha Nitro would have to be one of the trickiest sleds to do a track swap on. Components are very technical, feature many parts, and have special spacers and O-rings you might not be aware of. Taking your time and being methodical about what comes off is key. If you're not comfortable with a pile of 20 more parts sitting on the ground after you've taken this apart, take your sled to a dealer and have them do the swap for you. With the old track out of the way, the new one's going to go back in, just as simply as retracing the steps I just showed you. Fitting the suspension back into the tunnel can actually be the hardest part of the swap. Torsion springs may need to be released to allow the tunnel mounts to line up. The clutch goes back on and the chain case is rebuilt. While it may sound strange, remember to refill the chain case with oil, as this can be easily overlooked. To really find out how this track works, I thought I'd take it out to the trails and get real world experience with a 144 inch pre-studded track. And right away I could tell that the Ice Attack XT delivers incredible traction. The Nitro motor spools huge torque, and this track is able to bite the ground and lift the skis where the stock 175 would have spun nervously. Exiting corners is fast and precise, and thanks to such a low profile stud design, I don't sense that typical pushing in the corners that a traditional drilled stud would produce. While acceleration feels great, stopping is also enhanced, especially in slippery conditions, where the rear of the sled stays true no matter how hard you grab the brakes slowing the sled much quicker than the stock track would, and providing improved confidence in low snow conditions. While changing a track might seem like a pretty big deal, consider it the same as installing winter tires in your car or your truck. You're not only going to enhance the safety of your riding experience, you're also going to increase the performance of your snowmobile.